Alright, what's up everyone? Camping Finder here and today I'm gonna be showing you all of the camping spots in all official maps in a killing a Flora 2. So yeah, I'm going to be showing the maps in alphabetical order, so yeah, the first map we're gonna take a look at is Airship. <laughs> Boy. So yeah, this is the spawn point for Airship and the best place to camp it out is right up the stairs and it's gonna be on the main deck as Lockhart would say that but yeah this right here is going to be the best camping spot on the map because you have a lane behind and two lanes over there but yeah keep in mind all of these camping spots i'm gonna take a look at are gonna be for a six player hell on earth scenario but yeah like i said two people are gonna be camping it out here two people are gonna be camping it out over there and two people over there and that is how you beat this map Pretty much every single time. And on top of that, if you know a lane gets overrun, maybe someone's gonna be dying or shit like that, you can just easily kill the Zeds behind and run either to the left or the right. So yeah, that was airship, and now let's move on to the next map. <laughs> Boy. Well then, this map is called Ashwood Asylum, and on this map, it is a relatively huge map, but there is like one specific area you should be camping it out, and you're always going to be spawning in this location, and you just go into the house. And this is going to be your main camping spot. And where is it exactly? It is up the stairs and here it is. You have this convenient freaking door if you have like a demolitionist and it's all ghost. But yeah, here is where the majority of the team is going to be. I mean the support and a demolitionist per se can, you know, just like repair doors, trap doors and shit like that. And usually people are going to be standing here, you know, shooting down on the stairs. And then you have either, I don't know, like a commando or... A SWAT or a sharpshooter gunslinger down here shooting that lane. And that is how you complete this map every single time. But yeah, if you actually get overrun on this position, which can kind of happen if a lot of people die early on, yeah, your best bet is to just go here and this is conveniently open so you can just jump down and move out as fast as possible. And that's how you beat this map pretty much every single time. So yeah, that was Ashwood Asylum, and now let's move on to the next one. <laughs> but yeah, this map is called Biotic Slab, and this is the map that has a bunch of random spawn points, but I mean, you can kind of like run around the map and find this position. But yeah, this right here is going to be the best camping spot on this map because it is relatively open and there is a lot of room to kite around. But yeah, as you can see here, Zeds are pretty much not going to be spawning from behind and if they do, you can just quickly turn around and kill them. But usually Zeds are going to be coming from that door, that door and down the stairs. So yeah, just standing here or a little bit in front and just like shooting them, some people standing here shooting that and maybe someone having the upstairs. And yeah, that's pretty much Biotic Slab in a nutshell and if you get overrun, yeah, just, I don't know, go a little bit backwards, shoot them because they're gonna be funneling from there and then just loop back around and that's pretty much it. And if you can't loop back around, I do recommend going in there and around the map. So yeah, this was Biotic Slab, and now let's move on to the next map. <laughs> and now we have a map that is pretty much forgotten in Killing Floor 2 called Black Forest. But yeah, this map as well has some random spawn points, but if you just go on uh, this place, and if you find the tracks and the train, you should be good to go. But yeah, on this map, once you find the train, yeah, you're just gonna be greeted by this little hill. And this is going to be your camping spot. But yeah, two people standing here, two people standing there, and two people standing there, and it's pretty much a GG. I mean, if you don't have anything to shoot down there or over there, you can just go and help out these two dudes that are shooting stuff that's coming up the hill. And if you get overrun, yeah, the solution is pretty simple. You just go down and run away. But yeah, this map, it is one of the easier ones to just like kite around because you have like a lot of trees that you can just like go around and you know confuse the Zed AI as long as you keep like bobbing and weaving through the trees. Yeah, Zeds pretty much can't even get you. Because let's say even if a raged flesh bound is coming towards your ass, you can just go to the tree and just like go around and he's going to be like attacking other directions. I mean, that's just Killing Floor 2 AI. But yeah, if you do have to bail, just keep running circles around the outside of the map and you should be good to go. So yeah, that was Black Forest, and now let's move on to the next one. <laughs> and here we have the OG map in Killing Floor 2 called Burning Paris. Now, on this map, there are a couple of, you know, camping spots, and I'm just gonna show you my favorite one, and it's going to be down down there. But yeah, this map in general has a bunch of random spawn points, but if you can find your way down to this position, yeah, you're pretty safe. Because on multiplayer, yeah, one dude has the subway, he just like looks in here, just like shoots dudes left and right, and then you have people behind them, 
covering his back and all the other areas and then you have a bunch of people here looking at that direction but yeah on this map if you for whatever reason get overrun you can just like walk up the stairs and just like circle the map or alternatively you can go to the other side and up those stairs but i mean keep in mind if you do go on this side yeah there's gonna be a bunch of zeds spawning from here so be sure to kill them as fast as possible and then just circle the map so yeah this was burning paris and now let's move on yeah, boy. and here we have another map that is pretty freaking forgotten in killing floor 2 called catacombs now catacombs this map is pretty straightforward i mean for like a new player this map can be very freaking confusing but I mean, once you get used to the position, it's pretty easy. And this is going to be the position. Zets can just come from two sides, that door and up the stairs, and that is pretty much it. And just in case you're confused on where this position is, this is going to be the middle part of the map, and from this middle part you just go find this area, and you're just here. I mean, if you have like a demolitionist and a support, he can just like repair and door trap that door, and that door over there, and this area is relatively flat. Now keep in mind, these lights can be broken, and this map is gonna be a little bit darker as the waves progress. So yeah, people are gonna be standing here and shooting dudes from that door, there's gonna be most likely a demolitionist up here, just having that door, maybe like a firebug. And then you have, you know, gunslinger, sharpshooters, you know, stuff like that, having this door. Even like supports and I know swats. But yeah, if you get overrun from this position, you can just like walk to that area. And if you get overrun from that position, you just jump down and move to the wide open area here in the middle. I mean, the middle is also like a cool camping spot. You can just stand here, three people there, three people there. And maybe someone just holding the back and that is also pretty easy. But I mean, I would recommend camping it out in this area. So yeah, this was Catacombs and now let's move on to the next map. <laughs> yeah, boy. And now we have one of the easiest maps in the game called Containment Station. Now, Containment Station is a straightforward map and that means it has two lanes you have to keep an eye out. And this is going to be the area you're going to be camping it out in. But yeah, six player hell on earth, three people are going to be standing here shooting down that lane because Zeds can't spawn behind and the other three people are gonna be inside this door and specifically right over here shooting that direction so yeah three people here and three people on that door and this map is gg and easy but yeah if you somehow manage to get overrun on this map then you can just go walk backwards shoot in the meantime or just run out well the door and just keep on moving back and shoot them right here and then just casually go back into the position and if you're on that side and get overrun i do recommend going into that direction because if you get overrun on this side you just go move backwards and over here so the other teammates can you know easily save your ass because they're gonna be coming to help your ass so yeah this was containment station a pretty easy map to beat and now let's move on to the next one <laughs> yeah, boy. hey now we have a map called evacuation point and in my opinion this is one of the most boring maps in the game because i mean it just looks boring but yeah on evacuation point there is just this one area you can camp it out i do believe and it's just going to be here but yeah the team has to be relatively good on this map to not get overrun because you know that they're gonna be coming from that door they're gonna be coming from that door that door in that place so you're just gonna have to multitask a little bit but i mean for the most part this map is not that bad you know gameplay wise because it's kind of like exciting from time to time and if you get overrun, I mean, you just like walk or just say sprint in, I don't know, either the house around or usually you just run over there and in the boat and loop back around to this area. So yeah, not much else to say on this map. I haven't tested out any other camping spots. Usually if I play this map, I just like camp it out here and it usually works out. So I do recommend camping it here so yeah that was evacuation point and now let's move on to the next map yeah, boy. and now we have one of the smallest maps in the game called farmhouse but yeah on this map i'm gonna show you two camping spots that are pretty freaking good and i do must say they're pretty much the only two camping spots so yeah the first one is the barn you just like camp it out on these ledges and keep in mind that's can spawn from up top so you occasionally have to look behind your ass, and from there you just shoot down here, and it's pretty freaking easy. Especially if you have like a demolitionist, and I do recommend 
you know, closing this door and welding it up. And the next camping spot is gonna be in the main building and up the stairs on the second floor. And this is where the next camping spot is going to be because Zeds are gonna be only coming up from the freaking stairs. And that is pretty much it. I mean, some people prefer this spot over the barn. Because, I mean, they could just, like, line up headshots easier so they don't have to, like, aim down and shit like that. So, so yeah, just experiment between the barn and up here and then just, you know, stick to it. I mean, in the house, it's easier to, you know, just, like, run away if you get overrun because you just jump down and then just kite in this huge wide open area. But, I mean, if you're in the barn and you get overrun, yeah, the only way to get out of here is jump down and usually there's gonna be a bunch of zets here, so... Yeah, you're gonna be pretty freaking lucky if you're gonna get out of here alive. But, I mean, if you do manage to get out, then you have a wide open area to work with, so... Yeah, this map is pretty freaking easy to complete. And now let's move on to the next map. <laughs> so yeah, this map is going to be hostile grounds, and on this map I would get out of here as fast as possible, because underground... I mean, fair enough, there's like a couple of spots, but I don't recommend being in here. But yeah, just like Containment Station, this map is one of the easier ones to complete because you just have to be outside and specifically over there where the truck is at. And this right here is going to be the camping spot. You can either camp it out on the truck and just take a look at, you know, all of the sides. And you know, some people standing over here having that lane and someone having, you know, the staircase and that is pretty much it. And if you get overrun, yeah, you just have to walk around the outskirts of the map. I mean, if you absolutely have to, you can go underground, but keep in mind, yeah, these, you know, edges, you can get really stuck. But yeah, for the most part, a medic is probably going to be up here, just like healing everyone on all the sides, and it should be theoretically pretty freaking easy to accomplish. And off to the next map. <laughs> so yeah, now we have Infernal Realm, and this map is... Yeah, I can't remember the last time I actually played on it, because... Honestly, I kind of forgot it was an official map. I thought this was like a community map for some reason But yeah, the best camping spot is going to be right over here I do believe the spawn points on this map are very random But I mean if you find this huge ass freaking clock tower and you know this area with you know the huge door Yeah, just camp it out here I mean three people here or maybe four people there or like a medic in the middle and two people or three people you know, looking at the back. But yeah, the only downside on this camping spot is that if you get overrun, yeah, there's not much, how should I say, places you can go, because if you go back, you're stuck, because there's nothing back there. And it's kind of like a 50-50 if you're just going to be running left or right, because there's gonna be Zeds. But yeah, for the most part, if like a Berserker is standing here and he knows what the hell he's doing, aka parrying stuff and, you know, blocking big things from coming through you, then this spot is going to be pretty freaking easy. So yeah, that's this map, and now let's move on to... Yeah, boy, other one. Yeah, boy. Okay, so for maps like Krampus Lair and Descent Power Core Nightmare, I'm not gonna, like, introduce these ones into this video because, I mean, the rooms are so small. As long as you stick with the team on these maps, then yeah, you should be pretty fine. So let's move on to... Lockdown. Yeah, boy. So yeah, Lockdown, this map can be a little bit confusing because of how complex it actually is. But once you get used to the map, yeah, it's pretty easy to know your way. But yeah, anyway, this map has a bunch of camping spots and the best one is probably most likely up here. And by up here, I do mean Zeds are gonna be coming from that direction, so people are gonna have this door, and other dudes are gonna be having this door. But yeah, usually you're not gonna get overrun on this map because of how easy this room actually is to hold, because, I mean, people having this door, pretty easy, only like one freaking door, and this door... Yeah, Zeds are gonna be just like funneling indoors, so it's pretty easy to just catch him and kill him. But keep in mind, this room actually has some vents, so Zeds are gonna most likely drop behind your ass. So yeah, occasionally do check behind you because there's most likely gonna be a spooder nibbling at your feet. But yeah, if you actually get overrun on this map, then yeah, it's most likely gonna be GG, but if you absolutely have to run away, then... I do recommend welding doors, because this map has a lot of doors. So yeah, keep on running around the map, and once you get through a door, just keep hold of E, and then you're just gonna pull out the welder and weld the door. And that's it for lockdown, and now let's move on to the next map. Yeah, boy. So yeah, this map is going to be called Monster Ball, and you're always going to be spawning in this area. So yeah, from the spawn point, you just take a left, and you just go to the disco, and the disco... I mean, you can't even, like, miss it, because it's literally right here, with the flashing lights. So yeah, this is going to be the disco area, and the place you're gonna be holding out. Now, Tripwire actually made a convenient trap right here, so if you do actually get overrun, you can just, 
you know, press the trap and this bell trap is going to be flinging Zeds left and right. But yeah, one person is enough here, if he's good enough, but if he's not good enough, then be sure to help him out so he can, you know, keep this lane intact. But yeah, other people, like a medic, should be standing, like, right here and killing dudes that are gonna be spawning from up there. And the other players are gonna have this area, because this is where the majority of the Zeds are gonna be coming from. So yeah, this map in nature is very freaking simple, and if you get all run, I do recommend running in this direction. I mean, fair enough, it's gonna, like, involve you clearing some Zeds, but if you actually come through, you can activate this trap, and you can activate the EMP trap. But yeah, this map is full of traps, which can help you in your kite adventures. And yep, that was it for Monster Ball, pretty freaking easy, and now let's move on to the next one. <laughs> and now we have one of the most easiest, or should I say noob friendliest, maps in the game, called Nuked. But yeah, Nuked is one of the most popular maps in the game because of how easy it actually is to complete. Now the camping spot is literally right here. But yeah, if you have like a commando on the team, or just like something that can kill trash really freaking fast, you're just gonna be standing here and shoot them from afar while the other teammates are gonna be standing behind you, you know, those areas, the house, and the other side. And if you get overrun, which is most likely gonna happen if your team is, you know, not that great, then you just walk in the garage and just, you know, run around the map. Pretty, pretty simple. I mean, I don't recommend, you know, if you actually do run away, that you just, like, stand in a single position again. Keep on running until you get to that standard position, and if you can, hold it out, and if you can't, just keep on running. So yeah, that was it for Nuked, and now let's move on to another map. <laughs> and now we're gonna be moving on to the most enjoyable map for me personally in the game, called Outpost. Now, Outpost only has one viable camping position, and I'm just gonna show you it really quick. So yeah, this map also has a bunch of random spawn points, but, I mean, usually you're just gonna be camping it out down here. I mean, three people here and three people on the other side. I mean, this side is a little bit easier to hold because they literally just, like, funnel from this one direction, but on that side, yeah, Zeds are gonna be coming from the door, they're gonna be coming from up this area and through that door. And on top of that, if no one has stuff from behind, they're gonna be also spawning from the rocks. So yeah, what I recommend is trash clearing perks over here with, like, one big Z killer and the same for the other side. And someone from that side can also keep an eye out on this area so they don't come from behind. But yeah, on this map, it is one of the best maps in the game because of how you know, great the layout is. Because even if you get overrun, I don't usually recommend going that direction if you get overrun because, I mean, it's not safe because you have to go like into tight spaces. But yeah, if you do actually get overrun, I do recommend pushing your theme in this direction. I mean, you do have, you know, voice commands for a reason, so, you know, request help and follow me are pretty good if you want to, you know, run away. I mean, usually, if you're gonna be, like, running away, most of the people are already going to be dead. So, less players equals less Zeds on the map, which equals... Yeah, you have more control over the game. So yeah, this is pretty much it for Outpost, and now let's move on. <laughs> and now we have another one of those boring maps in the game called Prison, and on this map there's only one, you know, camping spot, and that's going to be uh, this watchtower and the stairs. Or should I say just like this area down here, because... I mean, most people are gonna be camping it out on the stairs, because Zeds can only come up this one direction, and... Usually a demolitionist is going to be up here and just, you know, acting like he's a Samsite and he's just going to be like destroying everything and everyone. So yeah, to the person who's going to be up here, do keep an eye out for Edars and Husks coming from that side because they can easily kill you. Even if something goes through you, yeah, those dudes that are camping the stairs are going to be most likely killing everything, so... Yeah, this map is pretty chill. But yeah, for some unknown reasons, if you actually get, you know, overrun, you just go up here, drop down and just move your ass into the house and keep on kiting the Zeds around the map. But yeah, on this map you usually don't get overrun because if you do, then yeah, your team is pretty much hopeless and you might as well just change the server. So yeah, that was it for prison and now let's move on to the next map. <laughs> and now we have a map called Sanitarium. And on Sanitarium, the only camping spot that I could think of right on top of my head, is the house. So yeah, this map is kind of like similar to Ashwood Asylum, in which you just camp the stairs, and that is pretty much it. So yeah, once you actually get to the house, just go through the window, and here is going to be your camping spot. 
Now, a medic is most likely going to be here, just like seeing everything, you know, each and every one of the players, so he can heal them. And do keep in mind, Zeds are gonna be spawning from here, and the most, or should I say the majority of the Zeds, are gonna be funneling on the staircase. But yeah, on this map, if you have a firebug or a demolitionist or something like that, yeah, this map is going to be a piss take. And if you have, like, I know a berserker just, like, running around down here, yeah, nothing is most likely gonna come near you. If you're just gonna be standing up here and shooting some dudes. But yeah, do keep in mind, this area right here should not be neglected. Because usually everyone's gonna be focused on the stairs and then they're going to be, you know, overrun by that side. So every once in a while, just look over there. And maybe something is going to be there and you kill it. But yeah, this is probably not going to happen. But if you actually do get overrun for some unknown reason, then just, you know, sprint... Off the balcony and through the window and out you go into the hedge maze and then just you know go from there i mean good luck have fun i guess so yeah that was it for sanitarium and now let's move on to another map <laughs> okay santa's workshop is just going to be similar to you know holdout maps because it's, you know, theoretically a quote-unquote objective mode map, so just do objectives and easy. So yeah, we're going to be moving down to Shopping Spree. Yeah, well then, Shopping Spree, the spawn point is always going to be here, and from here you just go up the stairs, and here is going to be your camping spot. So yeah, this map by nature is pretty freaking easy, because you just hold this door, maybe like weld the door trap it, you know, repair it with a support, and yeah, just... Take a look at that side, take a look at the door once it actually breaks, and have some players behind, you know, that side, that side, and it's pretty freaking easy. But yeah, if you do actually get overrun, you can sometimes get away with, you know, just going around this little area, you know, around the stairs, and you can just stay here for the entire wave, but if you absolutely have to, I do recommend jumping down. I mean, you do have to heal yourself from time to time, but... But yeah, once you do actually drop down, this map is not all that big for, you know, kiting, you know, reliably. So I do recommend just, you know, running up the stairs, down the stairs. Just find a good route. I do find this route to be, like, the best. You know, kiting them over here. Just shoot, 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 bang, 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 and go back down. And rinse and repeat. So yeah, this was it for shopping spree, and now let's move on to another one. <laughs> And now we have Spillway, one of the most easier maps in the game. And by easy, I do mean very freaking easy. But yeah, on Spillway, this is going to be your main camping spot. I mean, three people here, three people on the other side, or maybe like four people here and two people on the other side. But yeah, the reason this map is so freaking easy is because Zeds are only going to be coming from the door and the stairs. And the same thing goes for this side. Gonna be coming from the stairs and gonna be coming from... You know, the door. But yeah, if you get overrun here, I do recommend just shouting to your team. Just, I don't know, request help or something. And then bail. Don't just, like, bail and just, like, leave those dudes to handle with these. And the exact same thing goes for these dudes. If they get overrun, just jump down and be sure to just request for help. Because otherwise, those guys are gonna be shooting them and they're not gonna be seeing what's happening to... You know, this lane. And once you actually do drop down, I do recommend going into the warehouse. And from there, just loop back around to... The position. But yeah, Spillway, this is one of my favorite maps because it's just like so chill to play on. And I do recommend if you're like struggling with Killing Floor that you start off with, I know, a map like this. Because it's so nice to play on. And with that being said, let's move on to another map. Why, why, why? And now we're moving on to Steam Fortress. And this map, it has like a couple of camping spots. And my favorite one has to be up there with the clock tower. But an honorable mention is this spot right here. Fair enough, it's a little bit tight, but it can also work. Because, you know, some people camping here, you know, just watching over there and that area, and the other people are just gonna be watching the stairs that go down and these stairs. And my favorite spot to camp it out is going to be right over here. So yeah, let's say two people have this, two people have that, and two people have this area, and it's pretty much GG for this map. But yeah, for the most part, Steam Fortress is pretty freaking flat, so if you do get overrun, yeah, you just, you know, walk down the stairs and yeah, that's it. You just run around the map. But yeah, either camp it out in this area or the area I showed down there. Kind of like farmhouse. Just get used to one and stick to it. And now let's move on to another map. Why? So yeah, now we have Tragic Kingdom and on Tragic Kingdom, I do recommend going for the roller coaster. So yeah, this is going to be the camping spot you're gonna be chilling around with, so go up the tracks, and I'm just gonna show you the best 
positioning for the team. And this is it, this long stretch of track is going to be your camping spot. Now the Zeds are only going to be coming up from, you know, this area right here and, you know, the Shraks, obviously. And from behind, they're going to be sometimes spawning from you know, this broken roller coaster. But I mean, usually someone's gonna be camping here, just like shooting stuff that's gonna be coming up, and a berserker is most likely going to be tanking the hits, you know, over here. Right here. And then you have, you know, supports, demolitionists, shit like that, so they're going to be shooting and shooting and shooting, and if you somehow get overrun, I do recommend going back here and just dropping down and moving to, you know... The Doom Bench, as I like to call it. But I do believe that thing's called a merry-go-round or something like that, but yeah, this map is pretty chill. You just like keep on running until you get back to the tracks and it's all GG and easy from there. So yeah, that was Tragic Kingdom, one of the most good-looking maps in the game. Why they don't make maps like this anymore is beyond me, but let's keep on moving through the maps. Why? Well then, here we go with another, how should I say, boring map in Killing Floor 2, and it's called Walter Manor. But yeah, on this map there are a couple of, you know, good camping spots, but I'm just gonna show you my personal favorite. But yeah, this is one of the good camping spots because they're just gonna be coming out from, you know, these three directions, and if you have a teammate standing behind and covering your ass, we should say this area could be pretty good, but it's not my favorite. So yeah, this is going to be my favorite area on the map. I mean, three people or two people having that door and three or four people having this area. So yeah, this is the area I do recommend you guys try out because this map, it's pretty bad. But yeah, if you do actually get overrun, I do recommend going into the house and just like sprinting around the house because... I mean, there's like no other place to go. I mean, you could gamble and go down, you know, into the basement, but... Yeah, weird things happen in the basement. So yeah, this was Walter Manor, and now we're moving down to the last map in Killing Floor 2, called Zed Landing. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last map on the list, and it's called Zed Landing. But yeah, realistically, there's like only one good camping spot on this map, and it is the beach area. So yeah, where do you have to camp it out on Zed Landing? I mean, so yeah, where should you camp it out on Zed Landing? I mean, like I said, beach area, and two people are pretty much enough has the stairs if he doesn't have the stairs he can just like request for help and the other dude has this area and you know can also check on that area from time to time and everyone else just has you know these three parts but yeah usually you're gonna get overrun by this area so i do recommend going to the staircase and then just like running around the map back to the beach and that's all she wrote for Z landing well then this is pretty much it for all of the maps in killing floor 2 hopefully i didn't actually miss anything because if i did i'm actually gonna cry myself to sleep because this took way longer than i expected but yeah anyway this video was requested for a very long time and i always thought you know camping spots and maps were logical but the more I'm hearing from people, the more they don't know where the hell to go, so... I mean, this video is mainly for, you know, beginning players, you know, where to go on each map, you know, which spot to camp it out in. But yeah, these spots that I showed off are the ones I use personally, and usually everyone that I play with is in this same spot. But I mean, if you guys have any different spots for, you know, a specific map, then be sure to let me know in the comments. But yeah, this video actually took way longer than I expected, but I mean, it was fun, you know, just trying out every single map, because usually I don't pick certain maps. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like, and if you didn't enjoy, then, I mean, leave a dislike, I guess, but it's gonna make me sad. But yeah, with that being said, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.